Welcome to another edition of the Gospel of Photography. I'm Shinwa Kesomi, and today we'll be talking about dealing with difficult clients. I recently had a situation in which a particular photographer's client actually posted a derogatory comment on the photographer's website and interestingly enough they actually tagged me and by the time I was you know involved I listened to what the photographer had to say and what the client had to say and I realized that in most cases many of us photographers actually are not too conversant with client services management there are many scenarios in which a particular client of course whether difficult or not pays you money for services and whatever that you have promised to deliver in case you maybe end up not delivering when you plan to deliver or something comes up it's important to actually learn how to communicate well with your clients even if you promise to deliver the final product seven days after the coverage and maybe for some reason or the other it's taking about six months or one year it's important that you learn how to communicate this to a client in such a way that the client doesn't get upset and post derogatory statements or comments about your photography business online. Now the interesting thing to note is that as much as you can't please every client, many times even if you have 99 satisfied clients out of a hundred, that one bad customer service experience with a difficult client could actually be in the negative for your business. So even if you think, oh, all I have is just 1% of my total clients, you know, being difficult, it's still something you need to learn how to manage. And this is one of the major reasons why I strongly believe when starting out in photography business, the first thing to get might not necessarily be even be the camera. The first thing to get is actually the education. How do you deal with people? That's why I always recommend to people, buy the book, how to win friends and influence people get the book uh, you can negotiate anything the combination of the knowledge in these two books will give you a good head start okay so whatever you do make sure whatever seemingly difficult clients that you are having and interestingly enough in some cases we actually have difficult photographers you have photographers that are just bent on being stubborn I mean if the client wants black and white pictures and you don't deliver black and white pictures for the sake of peace just give them their black and white pictures so that they don't end up making statements that are not too nice about you online even if it means that you don't put your logo or your name on the album do your best to satisfy your clients interestingly enough some of the difficult clients i've had in time past have actually given me some interesting referrals very good referrals so learn to manage this very well it's really really key so that's it for today on dealing with difficult clients. Uh, perhaps the point I should add to that is to know that many times the clients are actually not the one difficult. Many times it's just your ignorance level, knowing how to relate with different people, people that don't have the same mindset as you. So till we meet on the next edition of GOP, stay tuned to this channel, subscribe to the channel, and whatever you do, please keep spreading the gospel of photography. Take care. Bye. Orabo. Odabo. Au revoir.